Hello everybody! For this video tutorial, we will figure out how to use a debugger with your custom plugin and a Roadrunner. We will consider two cases. First case is a local debugging session, and the second one is a remote session. So the easiest option you may use with a local debugging session is to just a clone Roadrunner repository and add your plugin or middleware to the list of the plugins, which is located in the container plugin go file. You may add them at any position you want. It actually doesn't matter. All right, so you may also add a replace directive inside your go mod file just to use a local copy of your plugin so you don't need to push on every change and update the version. All right, so now let's have a look at the configuration. I highly recommend to use a minus race go to argument just to see if any race condition exists in your code. And also you may use a debug tag just to turn on debugging output from the logger. You may be very familiar with the program arguments here. It's just a serve and your configuration path. Now let's set a few breakpoints. So you may use an any IDE you want. For example, I use an GoLand, but you may use a Visual Studio Code, Atom, Vim, anything you want. I set a breakpoint inside a init method of my simple no plugin, and also inside a init method of the middleware and inside a middleware function. So let's start our debugging session by pressing a debug button. And we may see that the first breakpoint is hit. It located inside our middleware. Next is our plugin breakpoint. So you may inspect any uh, variables any code conditions you want here by just stepping in, stepping out, etc. It's just like a regular debugging session. Okay, fine. But where is our breakpoint inside our middleware? So to use a middleware, you have to add your middleware to the list of the middleware. But why is the name is full? Okay, so let's see. We implemented a name interface inside our plugin, which provides a name to the Roadrunner, and the name is full. So let's try to hit a breakpoint inside this middleware function. To do this, we will send a request, and as you may see, we hit a breakpoint inside the middleware. OK, fine. But let's imagine a situation where you have a server and you have a, some weird bug which can be reproduced only on a remote server. Here, let's imagine is our, our server, like we SSH into it and have a radar instance inside. So to build a Redunner instance, it's very important to use a following command. So here I'll use a minus race flag as usual, and also GC flags with this command. This is used to avoid uh, optimizations made by Golang, like inlining and so on. Okay, we build our Redunner instance, let's verify it. So to debug, uh, your Rodan instance remotely, you may use your favorite IDE or you may use a Delve debugger. For example, to install it, you'll need just to go install inside your server and provide a path to the installer. Next, we'll use this Delve debugger to start our binary. Here we're using an uh, IP API version 2 you may safely omit this. Exec our run binary 
and our command line arguments. All right, so now let's try to set a breakpoint. We know that the, our function located in the simple no plugin package and the file name is plugin.go and we need a line number 11. Let's do this. So first we need to specify a B, which means breakpoint. Next, a package, package name. Then a file name. And a line number 11. And we may see that the breakpoint one set at the address for the full name of the method, like full path to the method, and our line number 11. Next, let's actually start a read runner. To do this, we need to specify a C, which means continue. And we may see that our breakpoint is hit. I'm started, which is equal to this line number. I'm started. You may also inspect a variables here by putting a P, like print, log, or P, P. It means like uh, my, my plugin receiver. Uh, so you may inspect any variables. You may like go to the next line of the code, step into, step out, just step by by uh, like assembly instructions. You may also check uh, registers. You may examine a memory with this debugger and so on, and so on and so on. So you may uh, use a full power of tail debugger like you did inside uh, your favorite ID, for example. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching and bye bye.